Okay, so if you're here, you're probably wanting to know how to make that sweet stick cam footage so that your reels and shorts look excellent, or you're hoping to find an easier way to do it. Either way, this short video will help you turn your freestyle, race, or even cinematic footage into something even more active. Now, you'll need a few things outside of the obvious, which is going to be your goggles, radio, and drone. You'll also need a couple of action cameras, one for your sticks and one for your drone. Now, if you're using HD Zero goggles or Orcas, then you might have the ability to record audio with your DVR. Then you could easily get away with just a single camera for your sticks. But you'll definitely want a chest mount for that action cam. Amazon affiliate link in the description for that! Now, with that out of the way, let's go outside and show you what to do here before we get into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so we're out here at the park, and we've got our GoPro strapped to the quad, and I have, this is a Fox here Box 2. It's kind of trash, but we're going to use it today, and it's just, it is what it is. But the big kicker here, you can try and sync up the start, the recording, if you want to, but that's going to be really hard to get it set up in post-production, which we're going to show you after we do this. So we're going to hit record. I got both of them recording. Now I'm going to walk over here before I plug in to fly. I'm going to set it down, and I'm going to give myself a good... All right, and we're gonna use that file here shortly. I'm gonna show you how to make sure that the video lines up and then you can send your quad and do whatever you want to. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're back from flying with our friends and we've got DaVinci Resolve Studio pulled up. You can do this with a beta version. It does not have to be the paid version, but we've got our two files pulled up here in uh, my media folder here. And I'm gonna drop it into my pool. This is the media file here. We're gonna drop it down and we're gonna let it change the frame rate because both of these video clips are at 60 FPS and I do not want to do it at 24. So I'm going to go over here to my edit tab now that I've got those both pulled up. And you're going to start with the flight footage. You're going to drop it in first. Okay. And quite frankly, you can mute it if you, and if you want the, the audio, that's fine. You can leave it unmuted. I'm going to mute it here for the sake of this video, but I'm going to go ahead and take my stick cam footage and I'm going to drop it in. Now remember whenever we did the clap, we were looking for two very distinct sound signatures and you can probably see those right here. And they're not lined up, but I'm not really worried about that just yet. Right now, I want to get this looking correct as far as size wise. So you wanna go ahead and do it again, flight footage here, stick cam footage over it because you see now it's on top of it. And we're going to take this here zoom. We're going to shrink it down. Actually, move this over here a little bit so we can get the actual. There we go. See this right here? Now I'm on the sticks. This is where I'm going to be. All right. I can take this spot and I can use this to trim it. Now, what you want to trim is you want to go up here in the video tab on your inspector. Again, if you don't have the inspector turned on, click inspector and you'll get that. You can go down here to the cropping. You can crop left, all right, you can crop right, and that gets my glasses out of the way. I can crop the top, you can look, you can still see the drone right there. Let's crop from the top, because we don't want to see that. Look at that, and now I'm going to crop the bottom because you don't want to see all of me. And now, we're focused on there. And we can take our zoom, I actually like this at 0.75 and we're going to reposition it. We're going to go down on the Y axis and we're going to drag it straight down. Hmm, that may be a little big still, but what if you want to take this and you want to make it a little soft around the edges rather than this hard edge? In the cropping section, you have softness and you can take it, It's you can drag this little dot here or you can click on the numbers and it's a little easier to do like that. Look at that. Now you can put this anywhere you want to, but the problem is right now is, is it's, it's not synced up. So yeah, I'm in the menu system there making some changes to my rates, but it's close, but no, nah, no cigar. So we're going to go back to the beginning, drag your timeline back, click your little timeline indicator there, zoom on in. And now, you're looking for these two points. Clap, 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 clap. Now all you've got to do is take this, whoop, wrong one. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
Now you can unmute them. Uh -huh. right. Clap, clap. Now, once you've got them synced up like that, and that's not usual that it lines up that well, you can take and select both of these. And my recommendation is to right click it, hit the link clip. And now that you're linked, you move one, you move all of them. And you're going to want to do that because if you go over here, all right, so we got, see there, arm, so we arm it. There we go, arm, take out about right here so if I want it to start here I can hit my little uh, razor blade tool or B if you use shortcuts in here hit razor blade tool and I click once and it takes the whole thing and I can hit the to go back to the arrow I hit a or click on the arrow now I can go here if I want to shrink it back down and hit delete if I hit delete it'll like let me show you so I hit backspace it deletes it there and it leaves this big open gap of space so I'm going to undo that and now I'm going to hit delete and it's going to move the whole thing back to the beginning. And now I can go over here and I can see that the flight bonk right there. I want to end it there. Boom. And from here, I'm going to go find some music and then I'm going to throw this into the final edit. And uh, yeah, you know what? If you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, let me know down in the comment section below. If you use a different method, let me know what software you use and how you do it. Let's have some discussion around this because this isn't the only way to do it. This is just my way to do it. So uh, hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it, and make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Silhouettes of you are like a ton. Never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion